Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. We are going to be doing some sound designing. So on the left, we have a little GIF of the project I'm working on called Boomer. And on the right, I have my Teenage Engineering OP1, which is the primary hardware synthesizer that I use for the majority of the music uh, and sounds that you hear in Boomer. So today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a sound for this activated portal that you see here on the left. All right, let's do it. Let's get going. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and activate. Um, so this is the, the the tape. This is the tape display that OP1 has. Let's go ahead and um, set up a new loop. So I'm just fast forwarding into my tape and I'm going to put a, a loop in there and I'm going to count a couple measures. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we'll do about seven measures, which pretty much is at the end of my tape. Um, let me see if there's more space. I mean, I've been using this tape through January, the month of January. I've been put, posting a lot of music lately and I've been taking up a lot of my tape. So we're going to be using just the last couple of seconds of this tape. We're going to dedicate to this uh, sound effect that we're going to make. And I'm going to hit my synthesizer button. And then we're going to go through our different engines. Each engine has a, a different sound, uh, a different method of producing sounds. So we're going to start with the voltage engine, which I really like the voltage engine. It, it's very um, kind of grungy and, and sound uh, very, uh, um, very, very fuzzy and buzzy. And, and I kind of like that sound for what we're looking at here. And I discovered the wobble preset on this engine, which basically sounds like this. And I love that sound. So I kind of want to use that for this portal uh, or a variation of that. So we'll start with uh, the basic wobble and then we'll work our way from there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and adjust these filters a little bit. There, kind of cut out some of that high end a little bit. And then we'll adjust the LFO speed a bit. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that. So we'll probably cut it right around here. All right, so let's go ahead and add some fuzz to the beginning of that, kind of really mm -hmm. emphasize that. Mm -hmm. I think what we could do. Oh, that's pretty wild. Let's see if we can continue playing with voltage and perhaps get like a something that's slowly. Oh, this is good. That's nice. Yes, 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 yes. All right, that's cool. Let's add a little bit more like decay there. All 
I like that. Let's let's give that a go. Let's see what this is going to be like. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, maybe we should go a lower octave. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I'm going to go ahead and lift my tape and just drop it again, just so that I have kind of a copy of it. Okay, I really like what's going on. Let's do it again. All right, I like what's happening so far. Let's listen to it. All right, maybe we can get some additional like sounds. Let's see. I like hitting this note right here. We're going to try that. That's a good note to hit there. All right. I'd like to get like some chimes in there. So there's a, there's a, particular engine that I like called uh, Dr. Wave. I use this a lot and there's a Fina preset which I absolutely love the chirpiness of this. So one of the things we could do with it is we can give it a spring reverb which isn't my favorite reverb. I kind of really don't like this reverb but it might work for this for this occasion. And then let's bring this way in. And then let's uh, change this to poly so we can hit more than one note. Okay, let's try. We'll do a lift and we'll get ready. So I really like what's going on. Really like it so far.
Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to ride to a nitro because that's really sharp. I like that. So let's bring that in, see what that sounds like. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm into it. All right, so I think we're just about done with it. Let's listen to it. All right, so I think that's a really good starting point. Maybe I'll adjust this a little bit, uh, but overall, I think this is gonna be good to move forward with. It's a very nice sound. I like it so far. I think that we might revisit this after we've put in some additional sounds and see how this particular sound fits in the overall uh, universe of Boomer. I mean, it's hard to tell uh, if this is gonna sound, you know, well until we've put all the other sounds in the game so once we finish with everything i usually go back and and we'll we'll revisit all the sounds and polish where necessary but i'm really happy with this sound i think i'm going to put it in the game and we're going to see how it looks all right so here we are back in game maker i'm going to open up my environment sound folder and we're going to create a new sound and this is going to be snd activated portal click on these little three buttons and we can bring in the uh, sound that we just created. So let's look for that on the desktop. Boomer, audio, effects, and activate portal. And we can play it. And I like it. So let's go ahead and close that. That's all we need. Let's go to our activation portal. Here's the shrine. Once this shrine gets uh, activated, uh, then it creates an instance of the portal that we see here. This is the shrine portal, which really just has the particle emitter that's set up. Um, it kind of draws that, and uh, and that's really just about it. That's all we. That's all I have for this portal. That's all that I need. So in the create event, I'm just going to create the actual sound here. Uh, we're going to call it. So we're going to start with an if statement to make sure that the sound isn't running more than once, because then you'll just get a bunch of uh, portal activated sounds. So if audio, if not is audio, audio is playing. So if we're not already playing activated portal, then go ahead and play it. So we're gonna do audio, play, sound, and we'll play the activated portal sound. And we'll set the priority and we'll set it true to loop. So as long as this portal is created and it exists if it's not playing this sound it's going to go ahead and play it it's only going to go ahead and play it if it's not already playing all right so let's run this and let's see what this looks like and let's see what it sounds like all right let's go ahead and expand this a little bit so you guys can see a little more all right, so here we have our boomer. All right, so I'm going to collect this fragment here and it's going to fly over to the actual shrine. So we may not we may not hear it as soon as uh, it arrives. There we see the, the shrine has been activated and we're able to now come over here and we can we can jump into the portal but I'm actually going to go ahead and just make a minor adjustment let's open up the room here and I'm just going to move I'm going to move the player closer to the actual shrine and I'm going to move the artifact also closer to the shrine just so we can see what it looks like as soon as it 
arrives in the shrine. I want to see it get activated. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so here we have the artifact. Oh man, I think that sounds pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work, put this in the game. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe.